Chairman of Iqbal Forum Iran, Mr. Bakri, please, uh, the floor is all yours. Actually, I was a bit shocked by the picture you have chosen there. Good. Bismillah <coughs> ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Lam yashkur al-makhluk, lam yashkur al-khaliq. One who doesn't thank the creators, he or she doesn't thank the creator. First of all, I would like to thank His Excellency, Dr. General Reza Muhammad, President of Islamabad Policy Research Institute, for his kindness and support that without his trust, it would not have been possible to sign a memorandum of understanding between these two research houses. I'm also grateful for the efforts and enthusiastic approaches of Dr. Khurram Abbas and Brigadier Navid for their follow-up and professional agility. I also would like to sincerely appreciate Islamic Republic of Iran Embassy in Islamabad for their support and presence in this ceremony. I warmly welcome Mr. Hamid Hadi Golriz, political officer and head of press section of Iran Embassy. I'm also very pleased to have Mr. Ehsan Khazai, esteemed cultural counselor of Iran Embassy, who is also the representative of Saadi Foundation in Pakistan. As you all know very well, the Islamic Republic of Iran and Islamic Republic of Pakistan do not only have common borders, but these two countries have a common caste, culture, conviction, cuisine, costume, custom, and most importantly, common creed. Despite all the commonalities expressed above, the relationship between two countries never satisfies the expectation and sometimes even defeats the purpose. Although political, social, and religious reasons can be mentioned for this stagnation of the bilateral relationship, but in my opinion, the most important reason is the lack of mutual recognition and proper understanding between the two countries, especially among the people. The Islamic Republic of Iran, as one of the energy poles, is the easiest and nearest source of supply for an energy-thirsty Pakistan. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan, on the other hand, with population of more than 250 million, out of which above 60% of them are quite young, is a great hub of a skilled labor that can supplement the professional human resource in many sectors of Iran, from construction workers to doctors and university professors. Pakistan's agricultural products can have a very lucrative market in Iran, and Iran's food and industrial products can also have an insatiable demand in Pakistan. But all these capabilities and capacities will be only utilized when the people travel to each and other countries and interaction between them increases after knowing each other's culture and capabilities. Both Pakistan and Iran equally need to strike a balance between their hard power and soft power. In today's world, it is not the country with a bigger army that wins, but that which tells the better story. The tales of Pakistan and Iran are important, but more important is telling the tale itself. The whole effort of Iqbal Forum is to retell the stories of both countries. Unfortunately, both countries' government officials may campaign in poetry using a few poems of Allama Iqbal but they govern in sad prose. I'm very blessed that we have found Islamabad Policy Research Institute as a very capable orator and a story writer who can rewrite the whole story between these two countries. This memorandum of understanding is a new beginning to look afresh at our relationship and ask if they are really providing the solid necessary foundation of understanding and collaboration between Iran and Pakistan. We, inshallah, will achieve extraordinary results in the field of primary research, secondary publication, 
and higher education by creating an integrated research ecosystem, promotion of innovation, and world-class scholars from both countries. I am sure this is also is a beginning of coherent, dynamic, focused, and continuous cooperation between Iran and Pakistan and promise to improve and strengthen the relations between the two countries in all fields for the sake of a better future for the people of two countries and the whole community in general. Long live Iran and Pakistan. Thank you.